Good morning and welcome to Patriot Radio News Hour. Joe and Jason here on this Thursday. I hope it finds you well out there as we're one more day away from Friday, the best day of the week. Our toll-free number, 800 951 0592 the website at allamericangold.com and uh man what a turn of events late yesterday uh after uh, the gold and silver markets closed we got the fed minutes so this was from the meeting two weeks ago uh where jay powell if you remember gave one of the longest press conferences i had seen so long, in fact, I had to turn it off. I, I couldn't listen to it anymore. And they were, remember, this was the, the the meeting where he said, I don't see stag and I don't see inflation, right? I don't see any of it. I don't see stagflation. I don't see inflation. We just need a couple of more months of data. Everything's going to be great. Well, apparently, now I, I who do you believe? Do you believe that? because the minutes had a, a different story to it. They said that various participants, so got to remember now, you got all the Fed governors, right? You got Jay Powell, you got the vice chair, right? You, you got all these all these people, and, and, you know, they put dots on plots and all that stuff. Various participants. Now, they don't tell us who the various participants are because you got to remember now only nine of the i think it's what 16 total get to have a vote only nine of the 16 get to have a vote well when they vote whether to raise rates keep rates the same lower them and it kind of rotates right you know these some fed governors hey this year i'm not a voting member but i am next year Various participants mentioned a willingness to tighten policy further should risk to inflation materialize. Now that was, you know, was was that saying a lot? I don't know. Obviously, right? Because if inflation's going to get worse, yeah, I guess you're going to have to to say that but but again i think this this led some people to believe okay wait a minute are you not really being honest about inflation which we know they're not i mean duh right uh this sent gold down silver down uh and they were already down to begin with uh this sent wall street down matter of fact all of it is down again this morning a number of participants, so always with the word smithing, right? First, it's various participants saying that, hey, if inflation, you know, risk it worse, then, you know, we'll, we'll talk about raising rates. Then a number of participants noted uncertainty regarding the degree of restrictiveness of current financial conditions and the associated risk that such conditions were insufficiently restrictive on aggregate demand and inflation. So, again, highlighting that, hey, maybe we didn't conquer inflation. The exact opposite of what Jay Powell had said in the live press conference two weeks ago. Although monetary policy was seen as restrictive, many, so let's see, we had various, a number, now we've got many participants commented on their uncertainty about the degree of restrictiveness. So these are much different, this is a much different uh, headline than what we were led to believe Two weeks ago, it, it appears that possibly Jay Powell uh, doesn't have the confidence of the members that make up the Federal Reserve. I don't know. Because remember, he was very confident 
about not seeing stagflation, not seeing inflation, not seeing any of these things. And of course, the big thing, quantitative tightening. Now remember, they were selling $60 billion of treasuries a month. Starting next week, starting June 1st. That goes all the way down to 25000 Of course, remember, we, we've been telling you about June to begin with. This avalanche of debt is becoming a huge problem. Almost all participants supported the decision to slow the, the pace of quantitative tightening. So not quite unanimous, but pretty close. <coughs> Sounds like they all agree. Hey, yeah, we, we've got a huge debt problem. So uh, I, I think that one, not surprising there. Uh, participants also commented, man, this was quite the release of minutes that was starkly different on the vulnerabilities to the financial system that they assessed warranted it monitoring. I hope it warrants monitoring. I hope that's what they're doing. Uh, because if they're not, right, that, that that's going to be a huge problem, right? I, isn't that what they're supposed to be doing? Monitoring how vulnerable the financial system is. I think that's just a nod. And this is something Jay Powell had said, right? We are going to see more bank closures. There's nothing really that can be done in that regard. Patriotto News Hour will be back after the break. 800 951 Joe and Jason, Patriotto News Hour. Uh, a really hard uh, notes that we saw from the Fed from the meeting two weeks ago. Uh, almost, well, there was something similar, right? Uh, the quantitative tightening. The huge drop in quantitative tightening. Again, it, there's just too much debt. So, so there is pretty much universal agreement. I'm sure there's probably one guy, oh, I want to keep getting that balance sheet down. Right? I, I, I can understand that. But really, that's almost like a loosening of policy. You know? that, that's kind of, you know, unfortunately, that, that's what it is. I mean, if we're being truthful about it. Uh, the other thing that was the same. Bank failures. Hey, the financial system, we got problems. We want to keep it quiet, though, right? They're, look, they, they don't want to make a big deal. They don't want anyone to freak out, right? But but get ready because that, that's coming. I, uh, it's coming. There's nothing that you can do. There's too much bad debt out there. That's just what it is. So that was the same. The big difference, though, was inflation because, remember, Man, they remember all the headlines? I don't see flag. I don't see station. I don't see anything. Was Jay Powell at the press conference? Apparently, there's a lot to see. And again, this is why we keep talking about the need to be more diversified. You have to be. Be more diversified than the dot com bubble, be more diversified in the financial uh, bubble, which, by the way, we're still in the financial bubble. It's just, they just papered over it, right? They went Big Daddy. You ever see the movie Big Daddy with Adam Sandler, right? And his buddy, this kid shows up at the door. He wets the bed. What does he do? Just put some newspaper over it. He spills the milk. What does he do? Oh, let me put some newspaper over it. The kid throws up on the floor. Let me put some newspaper over it. Just, let's just cover it up so we can't see it. Pretend like it's not there. Oh, it's there. By the way, right now, the Dow's down almost 300 more points today. Uh, yeah. 30, 30, it's still 39,000, uh, about 39,300 and change. Uh, the S&P's flat. The NASDAQ's up. We'll talk about NVIDIA, NVIDIA in a minute. This, is, this really scared the living daylights out of me because they're going to tell you AI this, AI that. There's something very wrong with it now we'll get to that in a minute the 10 year note look at this all the way back to four five here we go right remember what, what were we what were we last week four three bonds aren't supposed to move like this but they here they are right here they go crude oil's down at 77 dollars 
gold down now uh places will have different prices got to remember because this came out after the markets were closed in electronic trade but i would tell you gold's down 48 dollars 23.45 it's really i i love that spot that's a that's a nice healthy pullback uh kind of varies the same remember the when when gold broke above 23 pulled back like a hundred bucks yeah. right pulled back like a hundred bucks and then charged again well don't get the 24.50 right it's pulled back about a hundred bucks here i like it silver we really uh silver is setting up here now we didn't hold 30 we wanted to hold 31 we had closed above it yesterday i'm going to tell you silver's down a dollar at 30 30 30 dollars 30 cents it's a, a, a and holding above 30 is going to be key remember what uh td and ubs were saying hey the last time silver closed above 30 and stayed there in 10 weeks it was 50 get ready by the way the biggest silver sale uh maybe we've had all year probably you know what i'm going to say biggest silver sale we had all year coming up next but be diversified here be more diversified if you've got fifty thousand dollars or more maybe you got a lot of money in that ira maybe you got man i got i got a million dollars in it. i got five hundred thousand in it take a piece of that check out our friends over at y refi give them a call say hey how, how do i get 10.25 percent fixed rate of return not correlated to wall street Right, I can turn your you can turn your income on. You can turn it off. There's no fees. They don't play games. If you needed your money back for whatever reason, they don't attack your principal or anything. They don't do any of that stuff. Check them out. Investyrefi.com. That's the word invest. The letter Y R E F Y dot com. Or just call them at eight 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 Y Refi twenty four. Now, some interesting things, Jason, have been coming out after these minutes. People starting to go, more people starting to go out on TV and openly questioning if the Fed really has any idea of what's really going on. Right? I mean, it's crazy. Jamie Dimon again this morning. We had uh, Julian Howard was on uh, the other day saying, it appears that the Fed has no idea what's happening when it comes to inflation. I mean, these are things that when you have investors and billionaires openly questioning, uh, it really is something where either they have a perfect idea and they don't care, or, right, we, we've got the wrong people running this thing. Yeah, Joe, I was talking to somebody this morning about some of this stuff that, uh, you know, is it Jamie Dimon? What did he say? Uh, Fed to go to 8%. Didn't he say that? Yeah, didn't he say that some time ago? Listen, Jamie Dimon was out again today uh, and was was once again not very kind to what he thinks is coming. It, it's, uh, uh, you know, talking about hard landings, talking about stagflation, right? What Jay Powell said he didn't see. And here it is, isn't it? Here, I mean, here it is right in front of us. And if the, if the Fed, was it December? Was it just, just what is that? That's not even six months, five months ago, talking about multiple rate reductions, you know, and, and all this stuff. And now, you know, suddenly the, the verbiage of, of, of rate hiking is back in, in, it's back in their in their mouth again, right, Joe? They're, they're speaking rate hike. Whether they do it or not, we don't know, right, Joe? We don't know what, what exactly is going to happen, but... Yeah, I could see where the markets are getting a little uh, shaky and worried because uh, the Fed usually is not usually for, for the most part. Well, they, they 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 move slowly in a certain direction, and they've been since COVID. They've pretty much done everything they said they were going to do. This is the first time in a while where they're they're not really saying what they're they're, they're saying that you know they don't they're not doing what they're saying now. Now it's 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 you can see confusion, right, Joe? Or either that, or you're just seeing. Uh, uh, confusion to the masses because they, you know, like you said, do they know what they're doing or do they, uh, or are they now, uh, you know, are, are they walking the tightrope and maybe they, uh, they're leaning a little too far to the left or right, almost falling off that thing, right? Yeah, we, we told how, many, how many years they're, they're walking the tightrope, right? Walk, walk, there, there is no good choice. I'm not buying the minutes. How's that? I think that was just made for TV uh, because they know 
that inflation isn't going away. They know they've got the problems, uh, but but publicly, look, look at all the Fed. We had uh, Collins out, uh, the Boston Fed. We had Waller out. Both of them are voting members, and, and they're sitting there saying, hey, we're doing okay. We, we just need more data, right? We, we need more data, a couple more good months of inflation data so we can start cutting. But then you get comments like this. I think that the message is coming through is that the Fed has no idea of what is going on and they have a credibility problem. Inflation is notoriously difficult to predict. And I don't think they have any idea of what's happening. To be honest, that's a credibility problem for the Federal Reserve. And and Jason, it's really now, it's just, one guy after the next saying, you blew it. Think about it. Why would, why would they have gotten it right? Remember when inflation was starting to take off and we, they went a whole year? Jay Powell and Janet Yellen, they were out on TV. They were at any time they could get their face on the television telling you inflation was transitory. Jason and I were like, no, it's not. That's not true. Because we could see what was going on. It wasn't transitory at all, was it? Then they got to that five and a quarter, whatever it was, a, almost a year ago now. 11 months ago. Oh, we've, we've done it. We've, we, we've done such a great job. And now everybody out there that actually you know follows real pricing, Not the fake inflation, the real inflation is saying, what are you guys talking about? You have no idea. Now now you got uh, people openly questioning what is going on. Jamie Dimon talking about a hard landing, saying that the prospects of a hard landing, could we actually see one? Of course. How could anyone who reads history say there's no chance, right? And, and of course, what does he know? He knows what I know. The Fed has never engineered a soft landing. It's never happened. Why would it happen now, right? What would be the big miracle that it would happen now? It's never happened. And it's not going to happen, right? And I loved it. I loved his comment about, hey, have you guys read any history at all? Have you looked at all? Have they ever pulled it off? Because if they had, then maybe, you know what? Maybe I could say, oh, okay. Okay. You guys have done it. Look it. I can point. In 1990 this or 1990 that or 1990 this, you guys raised rates and we had a soft landing. If you could do that, Okay, then you could say that. But Jamie Dimon knows what we know. Jason, they've never done that. It's never happened. Yeah, it seems like when it crashes, it crashes, right? It doesn't you know? It doesn't seem to be a a a, a, a soft crash, right? <laughs> I don't think that's a term they've used yet. So uh, I, it'll be inter- it'll be interesting, Joe, because uh, I I fully believe they want to inflate their way out of this, and so uh, raising rates doesn't really fit that narrative. So maybe it's just maybe Pete. Maybe there, listen. There's a lot of big guys with big pockets that aren't the Fed, and uh, if a few of them are starting to get get wise to it, uh, maybe this tough talk is something to, uh, to 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 push back the you know the uh, the skeptics that the Fed is not doing their job. So maybe this is all bluster because it's like, hey, we're going to raise these rates. This looks, but but maybe when it comes down to it, they have to, right? Yeah. Well, and again, I think that's tough talk. I I. I think that's exactly what it was. Talk. They're not really going to do it, but they had to say it. Right now, Jay Paul didn't say it in the press conference. Matter of fact, he said the exact opposite. But this way, they can say, well, you know, we, we, we're, we're, we're still pretending to fight inflation because that's all it really is. Jamie Dimon wasn't done, though. He said, a hard landing's not the worst case. What? not thought it was oh no the worst case for the economy is stagflation and he said inflation continuing to rise 
as growth slows, and then he threw the curveball. And high unemployment. And so I agree. So maybe a hard landing wouldn't be that bad, right? A hard landing, hey, we're going to get, the economy's going to slow, people are going to get fired, but inflation comes down, right? That's kind of me, right? That's, that's what I say. I know when inflation's going to come down, right? When millions of people get fired. Jamie Dimon said, hey, guys, that's not the worst one. The worst one is stagflation where prices continue to go up even though the economy's in recession, even though the unemployment rate is skyrocketing. I look at a range of outcomes. And again, the worst outcome for all of us is what we would call stagflation, higher rates, recession, corporate profits tumbling. The world has survived it before, but the odds are higher than other people think. There you have it. By the way, get ready. The biggest below silver special yet. 800-951-0592. 800-951-0592. I'm going to give that number again. 800-951-0592. Uh, you know, we, we've been doing this a really long time. And you never know what is going to walk through the door next. We don't know what the next call is going to be. We don't know what the next email is going to be. We just, you just don't know. Today, I've got 4,000 ounces, it's like eight cases of Canadian maple leaves. One ounce Canadian maple leaves. We're going to be running them so far below cost. Uh, it's it's, it's going to be incredible right now silver <laughs> starting to mount a comeback here uh now up to 30 50 30 50 uh right now uh, down about 80 cents here but still well above 30 which is what we want to see one ounce um one ounce maple leaf I, if i'm buying from the wholesalers they're gonna cost me almost 32 dollars and 50 cents That'd be my, my cost. They're cheaper than Silver Eagles, right? I'm going to run them a roll at a time. So 20 ounces at a time at $630. That's almost a dollar below cost. That would be $31.50. An ounce. Matter of fact, if you go back to yesterday, right? I mean, go back two days ago, that's like a dollar below where it was two days ago. If you buy 25 rolls or more, save another $5 at $625. That would be $31.25. Cents. Just to give you an idea of like like a silver a silver round, which is one of the cheaper ways to buy silver. It's like seven hundred dollars. So you're gonna get Canadian government hallmark silver, right? So you, that's always you know government hallmarks always better, always carries the those premiums. Uh, but Jason. It's incredible how close to spot uh, we're going to be today on Canadian Silver Eagles. Uh, so one through, one through 24 rolls, $630 a roll. It's almost a dollar below cost. If you buy 25 rolls or more, almost a dollar 25 below cost. And, and literally almost a spot here, you know, 31 uh, when you think about 3150 and we got spotted almost 3050 right so about a dollar within a dollar here and if you buy buy 25 rolls or more you're like within 75 cents of spot that's just that, that that's just great 
value, and we love it, and we got a lot of them. We got 4,000 ounces, so we got, uh, what, what, what is that, uh, uh, 200 rolls of maple leaves available today at 800 951 zero five nine two these will be live in our colorado office today uh all any of you outside of colorado uh if we're gonna ship we can get them shipped out uh very very quickly obviously uh those of you that want to pick up here in phoenix we'll have them here next week so 800 951 but jason this is this is one of those deals where every once in a while uh, when we when we throw out below cost, that's just outright buying. And, and to be this far below cost, uh, it's 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 just great value for everybody. Yeah, and if you're sitting there looking at yesterday's silver drop, and you're seeing silver dropping today, and you're thinking, well, I'm just going to wait and see. This is priced in a way that if silver drops tomorrow, you're still ahead. If silver goes sideways, you're really ahead. And if silver goes up tomorrow, you're, you're, you're just lights out you know, winning. Now, Joe and I are going to sit on these silver eagles and watch them drop through the weekend. So they'll be gone. We, we, uh, we, we will sell more tomorrow if, if, if need be. But sometimes we get, a, we get a monster that comes in here and just buys it, out, buys it all up when it's at this price. Uh, uh, so this I'm is one of those things. Honest, let me just tell you right now. I can turn around and sell to the wholesaler right now and get $630 a roll for it, for it right now. So right. you're 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 going to be buying it essentially for less uh than the wholesalers can buy it. So that just gives you a, a great indication of the value and to Jason's point, we're not going to hold these through the weekend. So you got a little bit here 800 951 0592, but Jamie Diamond wasn't done. Asked about the prospects and timing for a rate reduction. Diamond said, well, the market's expectations are pretty good that it's going to happen. That's not always right. He said, the world said inflation was going to stay at 2% all the time, right? Thank you, Ben Bernanke and Janet Yellen. You guys, you know, they're, they're so proud of themselves. Then it said it would go to 6%. Then they said it would go to 4 It's been 100% wrong almost every single time. Why in the world would anybody think it's right this time? Amen to that. Amen to that. I mean, let's face it. If all of us had jobs, had real jobs, if these guys had real jobs, they'd be fired. Right? You're going out, the boss saying, hey, give us the projections here. And they're wrong. If, Jay, not only are they wrong, Jason, they really haven't been close, have they? No, everybody just wants it their way. You know, just because you want it doesn't mean you get what you want. I mean, uh, you know, I don't really have any sympathy for the, the Federal Reserve and the cho choices they make, but... There's got to be a little bit of stress there when the uh, the markets are calling them up all day long, telling them what they want, right, Joe? Right. <laughs> Everybody's exerting their their everyone's exerting their influence as hard as they can to get what they want, and uh, it's 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 not going to happen the way everybody wants, Joe. There's just there's a uh, for for the markets to gain in any level at, on any level at any time, somebody has to lose. That is just the way it works. And in in situations like we're in now, there's a lot more losing than our winners, Joe. Yeah, and then that's really. Uh, the hardest thing about all of this when we're uh, sitting here looking at this when we get back new home sales not good more problems at Boeing yeah okay, oh God, does it ever end there uh, and then McDonald's franchises freaking out about the five dollar meal saying hey uh, parent corporation how much money are you going to pay us to make up for the amount of losses we're going to take. And then jobless claim. Yeah, it was Thursday. They did come in. I'll tell you what they were when we get back. 800 uh, We actually have two lines open. I don't know how. We should have no lines open right now. No time to waste. 
uh, one ounce silver maple leaves so far below cost not just below cost I mean, retail here uh, cheap guys on silver maple leaves are probably what seven seven hundred and twenty five dollars a roll six hundred and thirty dollars a roll if you buy 25 rolls or more six hundred twenty five dollars I actually can get more dumping them on the, the wholesaler that I can't sell them to you, but this is what we do here. This is value. Where, where you think about what, what TD Securities was talking about yesterday. Are we going to see $50 silver in the next 10 weeks? They said, damn sure possible. I don't know. I don't know. I think we're, we're going to be uh, at least at 35 at a minimum, probably 37, 38. But that's what happened the last time. I mean, think about the opportunity you would have then. 800-951-0592. Very quickly, NVIDIA came out. You know, that's the big AI chip. AI, AI, AI. Well, guess what they said today? They had another great quarter. They did. I'm not going to. They did. Right? They're part of the, the you know, that group. Uh, I guess it's down to six, the magnificent six, because Tesla's out. But you know what they said they're selling? Data warehousing chips. Four hundred percent increase in data warehousing chips. Huh. What would they be using data warehousing chips for? Why do they need so many that's not ai oh wait huh what are we gonna need jason when the digital currency comes what it what it, what do they need data warehousing capabilities and this is really jason that was probably the scariest thing i saw all day today it wasn't the fed minutes from yesterday it wasn't the fact that another whistleblower saying 300 boeing planes are at risk to exploding fuel tanks no that wasn't that scary it wasn't the crappy new home sales that was scary it was Jason, they're getting ready. They know it's coming, and it's coming a lot faster than people think. Right, and uh, for somebody who's listening that doesn't understand why you need the chips, uh, just think of a uh, either a, a totally cashless society or a a, a very much, let's say, ninety percent of what cash is left is, is eliminated. And when you go to the garage sale this summer, hey, I know the ladies have to go to the garage sales. Well, you're going to have to have a card. And the person selling to you is going to have to have a card because you're going to be doing a digital exchange. It's not going to be the simple, here's 10 bucks, I bought a lamp. It's going to be, here's my card, let's uh, bump on your card, and then uh, I'll, I'll type in $10. You know, every, everyone has, mo- most people have some sort of digital cash uh, experience going on, whether it's your debit card, your credit card. Uh, you know, how many people have the automatic withdrawals of their bills that come right out of their accounts? It's going to be like that, and you have to have a lot of chips, Joe. I mean, I, I remember a long time ago, way back in the, maybe in the '80s, maybe the early '90s. I, I, uh, my my brother and my our friends we used to play role playing games, and one of them was called Shadowrun. And there's this futuristic society, you know. I won't go into detail, but but everybody had a cred stick. Way back in the late '80s, early '90s, the cred stick. There was no cash. Yep. You plugged into the other guy's cred stick, you typed a number in, and voila, that was the money. So when you had when you had to pass money, it was on your cred stick, and somebody's going to make money making the cred sticks is what you're saying, Joe. We, we just video. had a line open up. We just had a line open up, 800-951-0592. If you get the voicemail, you can leave a voicemail. Uh, but but I'd encourage you to tr- try to keep calling back. But we will check them when things slow down. But this is uh, this is an extraordinary sale here on one ounce Canadian maple leaves, uh, six hundred and thirty dollars for the roll. You buy twenty five rolls or more, six hundred twenty five dollars. Just to give you an idea, one roll that's thirty one dollars and fifty cents. We were at 3150 yesterday. Matter of fact, we were at 3250 two days ago. And it's going to go back there and a lot higher than that. 25 rolls or more, you're all the way down to 31 
25 uh, I mean, you're talking like a dollar twenty-five, dollar thirty below cost. I mean, that's that's just fantastic. Eight hundred nine five one zero five nine two. We just got it. Okay, we filled up. Now the line just opened up again. Uh, new home sales down and down hard, down five percent. By the way, all previous months were revised lower. Uh, new home sales are now down seven point seven percent on the year. And here's what's interesting. Pricing, record highs. Inventory now of unsold new homes is approaching record highs. Interesting, isn't it? By the way, uh, the average annual rate now down to 634. Uh, That was basically where we were eight years ago. So now uh, some of the bloom may be coming off the rose with, with, with these prices. Let's face it. Prices are so high with mortgage rates at seven, seven and a half percent. James, people, and I know with the new homes, at least with the new homes, they'll buy down your rate, right? You can get it uh, at, you know, maybe five and a half or five. But even that, Jason, it just the math isn't working. And with the Fed talking rate hike, I wonder if uh, some mortgage companies are bumping those rates a quarter point today, right? I mean, they're making it a little more expensive, right? Well, look at the ten-year note, right back to four and a half, right? Uh, yeah, it, it, it's it's definitely that. And by the way, jobless claims two fifteen, almost back now to the two ten. Yeah, sure, okay. All oh, these boy. companies filing for bankruptcy, shutting store. Yeah, two fifteen, sure. Eight hundred nine five one zero five nine two. A couple of lines just opened up. Jump in there, get them put away. Final segment coming up. Eight hundred nine five one zero five nine two. Silver continuing to come back here, down seventy five cents now. Good. Thirty fifty five. So the the this this deal just keeps getting deal gets better. better. Right? Joe, let me let me say this: this customer that's selling this, you know, uh, they're not one. They're not in my possession at this exact moment. They're in transit. They're being driven here from South Dakota. Uh, we don't. I don't have the exact uh, reason Joe can't describe it because I don't physically have them. But I know that uh, they're coming in eight cases, I believe. But we don't know that there. Are, uh, I know several of the cases are sealed cases. So when you buy a case of these, uh, most likely we're going to get you a sealed case. We believe they're 2023s, but until until the customer gets them here, we don't have all the information. But we know we have 4,000 ounces. We know we have them in the rolls. We know we have eight cases. Most likely they're going to be sealed cases. And and Joe, that's a, it's a great way to buy. What what a, what a great way to, to to get silver. Plus, you're going to be helping this customer out. Uh, we, yeah. we, when you're the when you're the customer that has to bring us the eight cases, this is what we do for you. So this is why you buy from us, Joe. Yeah, and and they, when then uh, we retail out, she gets more money. Uh, everybody wins. Uh, this is a great scenario. Unfortunately for for her, uh, you know, it, it, this is happening a lot. Uh, the the one of. Uh, her her parents needs to be put into a facility and and they they need money because they want to put them in a nice place and this is what they're going to be using the the proceeds to do so uh canadian maple leaves here gosh just way below cost now uh 630 uh for 20 uh you buy uh 500 of them uh down to 625 dollars so 31 uh 50 if you're buying it, you know, 20 at a time. If you buy 500 at a time, 31 and a quarter at 800 951 Terrible news out of Boeing today. Uh, cash flow will be worse in Q2 than it was in Q1. I think they burned literally like $3 billion uh, saying that China now is starting to push back on Boeing planes. And, and uh, the, their news had broken the Daily Mail, say that another fleet of Boeing gents have another disastrous flaw, saying the 777, the 777, poor electrical insulation near its fuel tanks can cause fire or explosion Apparently, the FAA was concerned about it all the way back in March and set a deadline for May 9th for Boeing to respond. And it doesn't look like that's happened. Uh, well, just 
wow, how does this happen? How, how does a great company like Boeing seemingly forget how to build airplanes, Jason? It, it just, this is what happens when you focused on all this, you know, DEI and everything else that really doesn't matter. Uh, co- companies losing their way. And it just seems like every, every month, the news for it, it doesn't stop. I don't care how many whistleblowers die. Apparently, there's a bunch more lining up. Oh boy. <laughs> well, I guess you need airplanes, I guess. But uh, well, if they start falling out of the sky, I, uh, I think sales will drop at that point. <laughs> well, <laughs> you, you, well, do you remember? Do you remember just 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 a couple of decades ago, especially uh, just pre two thousands? It was about once every year or two years there'd be some plane crash. Remember? So it, it seems like they've done a good job. We don't see these plane crashes anymore. But uh, I don't know. We got re- the return of inflation from the seventies and eighties. Maybe we're going to get the return of the plane crashes they used to have. Eight hundred nine five one zero five nine two. I got two lines open here. Six hundred and thirty dollars on, on a roll of maple leaves. Twenty five rolls or more. Five hundred or more. Six hundred and twenty five dollars at eight hundred. 